Hey, Coach Miller here with B2B Lax, and I'm back in the B2B Lax studio. I want to take a look at some more film. This time, we're going to take a look at St. John's. We actually played them in the WCAC Championship a couple weeks ago. They were the number one ranked high school team in the country. They scored a lot of goals throughout the year, and they were a very impressive team. All right, so we're going to take a look at some of the goals that they had here on the iPad and do a little coaching session here. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so here we go. Gonzaga's clearing the ball. Failed clear. It was a little sunny there, so maybe the sun got in the middies' eyes there. So this this goal is unbelievable. This is their first goal of the game in the championship. This game is being played at Maryland. So there you can just see all these long poles. A lot of these long poles can play offense, and this guy can play offense as well. You can see he's playing involved in the transition game. He catches it behind the back goal. I mean that's a long stick behind the back goal for the first goal of the game. Boom, boom. Hard to defend that. All right, we'll take a look at another clip here. All right, St. John's has the ball again. You can see that Gonzaga is playing zone. So what St. John's is doing here is they're overloading one side. So they have four guys there, 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 and there. The other two guys are over here. So it's basically four on three there. And with that movement and just that simple movement of overloading the one side, they get an open shot. And these guys can shoot. You can kind of see it right there. Nobody's guarding that guy for a goal. So they're playing against some zone defense, overloading a side, working the ball around, and getting a goal. All right, let's take a look at another clip here. So basically now, I'll play this out for you. It's just a dodge down the side and just a simple exchange for a goal. The defense just got mixed up a little bit. So all we're seeing here is a simple exchange. This guy's going in, the other guy's popping out, and a dodge down for a pass. So the Gonzaga guys could either switch that or just stayed, and they would have had a better chance of stopping that guy from scoring. All right, we'll take a look at another clip here. So now St. John's has the ball again. Substitutes of guys in. Gonzaga's playing defense. You can kind of see there in the substitution game that Gonzaga guy was a little late getting in, but now they're in there playing defense. St. John's working the ball around. Just a pick down. Good exchange there. So that's not bad defense there. It's just a really good shot. I mean, it gets uh, it's playing on this game's on grass, so with a little bit of a bounce there, it's able to find you know the hole there between the goalie's legs. Uh, let's take a look at another clip here. So this is off a of face-off, basically a fast break off a of face-off. This is just a good shot using the grass, using the bounce to, you know, look like it's going down high and then getting that bounce up top. So when you guys are playing on grass, you know, that's going to bounce differently than the turf. So you want to, you know, make sure you're practicing both on turf and on grass and utilizing those bouncers so that it makes it hard for the goalie to save. We'll take a look at another goal here by St. John's. Basically, I mean, when you leave shooters open like that and you don't defend them in properly they're gonna score goals so there you can just see that i mean gonzaga's actually in decent shape here but just they're in that gonzaga's playing zone again so what they're doing is overloading that side so now gonzaga actually has four players over here but then they lose communication because if you look at it we got st john's guy st john's guy st john's guy st john's guy and there's four gonzaga guys so they're properly marked but what happens is these St. John guys are moving and Gonzaga loses communication. So two guys are on one instead of this guy being out here to guard that. Because there's already a guy guarding there and there's already a guy up there. So basically all this guy had to do was come out and guard him, but he didn't. And he shoots and scores. So there's Gonzaga's actually doing a better job guarding the zone with four guys there as opposed to earlier when I showed you just three on four. But now they have four guys there, but then they lost communication and didn't get on the wing and score that and guard that shooter. So here I want to show you another clip, another face-off win for St. John's, and they get a fast break opportunity. And here, you know, before we showed you the utilization of the bounce shot of the grass, and now he's got the goalie guessing a little bit. Now he's going up, up top near pipe for just an awesome shot. I mean, just find this corner. I'll play it again for you. Just find this corner for... St. John's goal. So there you have it. With those types of opportunities, 
you know you can utilize you want to be able to shoot different angles bounce shots non-bounce shots utilize you know the grass if you're playing against grass stuff like that all right i'll take a look at another clip here so here so here gonzaga's playing zone again but basically their head just needs to be on the swivel more and call out these cutters because all they're doing here is just feeding feeding there to the inside for a goal whereas that should be better defended you know just by a little bit better communication there so i'll show you one more time here by just exchanging ever so slightly so that there you can kind of see what happens here is this guy pops out and then they send a cutter in there just that little bit of off ball movement creates the defense from miscommunication and then open six a goal we'll take a look at one more clip here so basically st john's is able to get a lot of goals off their face off they have a very good face off guy so they're able to create that transition and get these goals so there you can just kind of see another goal i mean nice pass there but he's always looking for that guy and this guy just you know with a seven yard shot like that you know that's going in it just kind of shows you the type of shots that you need to be practicing from all different angles, different parts of the net to be shooting stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you some high level clips from a recent high school game. St. John's is the number one ranked team in the country. They beat everybody this year. They didn't lose. So you can just kind of see how those guys shoot, how they move the ball, what they do in their zone offense. If you like these types of videos, go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to have more of these types of videos coming out. Also, if you want to check out some free training, I have the link right here in the description of the video. So I'll send that right over. I'll email that right over to you and you get started on that. See you in another video. Coach Miller.